So, what have I been using lately? Um, I've had some drips and drabs of um, things being delivered and also um, going to art stores not too often. I'm trying to be good. And I'm also trying to um, keep in a very small area. Um, I've been having some health problems um, and also I really, because of those, do not want to get COVID. So I haven't really been going out very much. Um, but these are some of the things that I'm really liking that I've got on different trips and different orders. Uh, first step is I've been using a lot more ink recently, and this is a brand called Ferris Wheel Press. They're just gorgeous bottles. The whole packaging is just gorgeous. Uh, this is a smaller bottle. This is the 38 millimeter. I think there's an 85, but don't, don't quote me on that. Uh, I got these at Lay Wines in Toronto, but you can get them in various places. It's a Canadian company, and hence a lot of the color names are actually um, Toronto places, like Moss Park Green is, um, there's Park, there's Moss, Moss Park, um, right near where I live. I can actually walk there. Um, Beautiful, beautiful green. I'll test this out with my other fave, which is this bamboo pen. It has two different nibs, a um, more pointy end and a more um, blunt end. I got this from Jackson's. There's a little, a little thing there. I'll try it out on paper. And that's green. It's a really soft muted greens and I've been doing a lot of florals recently and it's just, it's just beautiful. I really, really like it. There's so many beautiful colors from this company. Um, they also do pens, fountain pens as well. Um, I really highly recommend it, and not just because they're Canadian from Toronto. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful package. It'd be a beautiful gift. Oh, and don't be right. I should have covered my wrist. This is part of the um, health issues. Um, I had a bit of a heart scare, so that's what this is all about. I won't go into more detail because it's pretty gross. Um, so in the same vein of greens, if you've checked out my channel, you know I love greens. And I've been experimenting with um, acrylic pens, marker pens, uh, combining them with my gouache for mixed media drawings. This is the Posca Khaki Green. And there goes my cat. Keep going, keep going. And this is the Molotov, Molotov uh, One for All in the two millimeter. And this is, what color is this? Amazonas Light. I've just been trying out the different brands to see how they are. <laughs> my cat is always on my desk. Um, and this one, this was on sale, $2 clearance. Um, this is the Liquitex um, brand of this type of paint marker. And it's got a chisel nib on these ones. The other ones are um, pointed bullet ones. Now these have more of a, a brush mark to them. You can get them showing a little bit less of a brush mark, but you might have to go over it twice when it dries. 
And as always, when you're using these on um, paper, I find that some paper starts to get uh, ripped up a little bit. So you have to be careful that you're not doing too much work. Now, the other things, these are just really fun um, with doing, I'm trying to loosen up my work, um, especially for my florals. And these are really great for that. They're the Sipilo uh, three-in-one woodies. They are kind of like pencil crayon. And and wax crayon all in one. And they are also water soluble. So it really has like you can um, blend this out a lot more if you want to. Um, but I like having that little bit of a a mark of the crayon slash pencil crayon um, look. And then I succumbed. I bought a whole set of the Prismacolors uh, pencil crayons, colored pencils, because I just know that they have colors that I'm missing in other um, brands. I have uh, the top of the line luminance, not all of them, but some of them. And I'm just going to move this cap. And I know a lot of these aren't as light fast as the luminance or the Derwent light fast, but they're still so nice to work with. They're so soft and Look at that. I know you get some of it coming off when you're, but that's barely press, pressing and it's so smooth. And the colors are just gorgeous. So if I know that I'm digitizing, I don't worry so much about the light fastness. I just, you know, just love the colors and I love working with them. So they've been added into my whole pencil range. And also just yesterday, I added this pack of um, Statler Tri Plus Fine Liners. And I love this Stabilo 88. Um, I always love these. These are great. But these were offering colors that, again, I was missing in these. So I did buy, go out and buy this. They're about the same size. The Stabilos are just a little bit, a little bit smaller. Point, well, no, yeah, point 0.4 for these and point 0.3 for the Stadler ones. So that'd be nice to add to the color of those. And then for paper wise, I got this um, block of paper in a subscription box. I believe it was Art Snacks, but I'll have to check and I'll put that down in the description. And I've been doing just little drawings on them. And the, especially the lighter colors really pop off the, off the gray. So I've been liking that. It's pretty thin. It's um, 85 pounds, 15% cotton. Uh, Fabriano usually makes a really good product. And the color is clay. And speaking more drawing, I just love this paper from Arsh. It's the extra white uh, pad of drawing paper. It's 100% cotton. Uh, 
110 pounds, so it's a little bit thicker than that one. And it's just, colored pencils go on it so smoothly and so beautifully, and you can blend them so well on this paper. I'm actually kind of upset that it's so good because it's more on the expensive side, as anyone knows who's bought Arsh paper in the past. Um, but it is really worth it if you're working on, you know, full scale uh, colored pencil, anything like that. It's just a beautiful product. And this I picked up yesterday. This is on the other end of the scale. This is Royal Talon's um, little art creation sketchbook. It was only $5 Canadian and it's got uh, cream paper and it's, it's thin, but it's a nice little format. It's easily put into a purse and I've just started filling it up last night. So that's a nice little cheap alternative there. And last but not least are the Schmincke new um, granulating range of watercolors. And if you see my other videos, I've kind of expanded my Schmincke watercolor set. And my favorites, I have some of the previous um, granulating. I haven't got a lot of them because a lot of them aren't colors that I would normally use very much. Um, a lot of them are blues and and things like that that I'm, I just don't really use. Uh, but the greens I'm a sucker for. So they came out recently with um, what's my favorite one now? I think my favorite one is the Shire Gray. I'll just do it on here. Now that's not green, but I have the greens that I have from the, the granulating range are the forest brown, the forest green, and the forest olive. And I also got um, the Shire Olive, although I'm not that keen on that one. It's just maybe mixed with things, but it's, it's pretty light color. It obviously does granulate. It goes into like really different colors. You can see it breaking up into blues and yellows and and all sorts of things. And then there's the Shire <coughs> yellow. Again, this is a very light color. You might have to build it up quite a bit. And I might do a video with um, the granulating colors that I have. But the good thing about um, these granulating colors, uh, a lot of them are now in half pans. Uh, the forest range, when they first came out, were only in the big tubes. So I, that was kind of an investment and a bit of a risk um, getting them if you didn't like them. So those are those two colors. But one of my favorite colors is the Shire Gray. I think this is just a really beautiful um, shadow color or anything, even building color, anything like that. You can see it's starting to granulate. And then the other colors that aren't green in the granulating range um, are the oranges. And you can see that when it's granulated, there's the Shire Gray. Um, it almost gives the appearance of the 
um, texture of an orange. Like it's just really beautiful. So this one is the Volcano Orange and the Tundra Orange mixed together. Just really, really beautiful. And I can use those in my house portraits. They'll come in handy for giving the sense of texture um, of brick and things like that. So that's just a little video of my most recent treasures. And almost forgot, I also <laughs> went ahead and bought the Prismacolor Very Thins. I have the Derwent Studio pencils that are quite like these. Um, these are for getting, um, they're harder lead, so they're for getting more detail that you don't get as much with the, the regular Prismacolors because they're so soft. So I bought a set of those um, 36 because they were on sale at Staples. So I'll leave a list below of all the things that you see here and different places where I got them. But a lot of these things can be bought um, through big names like Jackson's and um, other places like that. Okay, so thanks very much. Talk soon. And if you like this video, um, please like it. Please subscribe uh, to see other videos like this or other little how-to. Um, I've been doing a series of how-to um, reels on my Instagram feed, and those uh, have started with a kind of intro to watercolor brushes and what sort of types um, and what they can do for you. Okay, talk soon. Thank you.